In this video, I do a road trip up to my dad's. I had to, well, his old, I sold his house up there, but I had to go up to Romeo to um, pay the storage on the tr fifth wheel travel trailer there. The, uh, the account was in his name and we're trying to pay it online and trying to, you know, it just is what's turning into a fiasco. Lynn was trying to pay it and got a neighbor trying to take care of it. And so I ended up just driving up there and paying the bill. And I had to take a death certificate and my power of attorney and everything with me and change the name from the contract from my dad to myself. So, you know, and then I paid up the storage on it through to the uh, middle of May. So hopefully they... Lynn's neighbor's gonna come and get the trailer then and take it back up and I guess try and uh, sell it. So after while I was up there, I kind of drove around the storage yard. This guy I know that hoards mostly British cars and uh, he's got a ton of them at the storage yard there. So I threw a little video of all these cars at the storage yard and then I thought, well, I'll drop by his house. Well, <laughs> you got to see the video to see what was going on there. The, the, it's, yeah, just watch the video. You'll see what I'm talking about. And then on the way home, I took the scenic route being a pandemic, you know, and not getting out of the house. It felt good to get out of the house for a little while. So I went for a ride around Stony Creek Metro Park and yap about that a little bit. My dad retired from the Metro Parks. And uh, so I'm kind of partial to them. So anyway, here's the video. Enjoy. Well, not get much done today on the car because I had to come up here and deal with, you know, after my dad's uh, state stuff. But this, I know the guy that owns all these cars. He's oh, he's rented a lot of, lot of space here. And he, this is just a fraction of the cars he has. He has a lot of uh, Austin Princesses and... Rolls Royces and MGs and and Lincolns and mostly all luxury cars and uh, yeah this is just a scratch of the service of boats his the the backhoe is his the tractors yeah pretty crazy huh yeah. Oh, that MG's in really nice shape. What a shame to just let this stuff just sit out here. And it literally just rots into the ground out here. And this isn't the extent of it. There's more up here, too. Apparently, they didn't have all the spaces right next to one another. But, yeah, there's there's a lot more of that stuff in the storage yard. So I'll, uh, I'll show some of it as I find it. Well, this is what I came up to pay the storage on. Yeah, they cart my folks or my dad and Lynn used to cart this thing all over the the country. I think it's got one. I think it's got three or four slide outs on it. It's an enormous fifth wheel. I just want to walk around it. Two, three, four slides on it. I just want to make sure the tires still had air and make sure no mice have got in it. So I'm gonna go in it too. But yeah, this is, yeah, that white 4x4 truck, uh, this thing dwarfs it. All right, let me go in and have a look. Yeah, here's some, some more. Yeah, all the stuff is, like I say, he's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is actually pretty neat. It's obviously starting to weather and, and, uh, go to hack here <laughs> but that's pretty typical of what happens when you leave these neat I mean look at this thing what a shame I mean you know this needs total restoration but it's restorable but this thing this good this isn't driver quality it looks like a perfectly good drivable car just sitting here just going to hack so does that, you know, I mean, most of these cars, that Lincoln's been here a long time. I don't, I don't know that that's going to go anywhere, but yeah, these things aren't bad at all. What a shame. Yeah, I've shown this group of cars in past videos, so I'm not going to go in there again, but yeah, there's a little bit of everything in there. 
I mean, yeah, look here, a VW Bug, some nice shape. Look at this old uh, GMC. These are the ones with that Oldsmobile drivetrain in them. Front drive, there's say 62 Chevy sitting right back there. Two-door post sedan. Or actually, it's a four-door sedan. I could see it more. But yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of neat stuff here. Must be money. Nice to have more money than cents. It's a Mustang. There's the. Oh, it's a '63. The Chevy. Yeah. That looks like an old Chevy pickup. There, camper, custom camper. It is. Yeah. He just packs that stuff in here. Yeah, big old Lincoln Continental. I think that's a 59, 58 Cadillac. It has 79 plates on it. And I've shown these ones in past videos too. Actually, I think that Lincoln's a 60. But yeah, and this guy, like, he's got lots of money because, you know, he has all these cars stored here at this storage yard I mean you know here you know lucky here another rolls I don't know how many rolls he has another one here Jag sitting there I mean yeah oh this is like a rolls limousine Yeah, what a shame to just abandon all these cars outside in the storage yard. I mean, there's hundreds of them here. I, I, he's probably spending $2,000 a month on storage for these cars. Now, that isn't this guy's that has all these cars here, but when that was first parked there, it still looked like a brand new car. <laughs> and it's been sitting here good, sitting right there for a good 20 years. As long as I've been coming to the storage yard, yeah, it's it's no longer a yeah. It, it just needs to go to the crusher or derby or something like that. It's beyond too many years of just sitting there. In the old neighborhood, this is where the kid grew up that bought my folks' house. The guy that bought my dad's house grew up right there and there's my dad's house that I sold him so yeah he didn't move too far he always told his folks and if this house ever went on the market he was gonna buy it and he certainly did and it looks quite nice still yeah that's pleasing to drive up and see the place looking good yeah I just saw this too I was riding around it actually looks pretty neat <laughs> in good shape it's got a newer bed on it but it looks good on it they did a good job anyway i just wanted to do a little bit of video on it it's like a maybe a 71 or two there's the school bus garage i used to work at <laughs> yeah romeo community schools they're all uh International harvesters now, I think, with Navistar, whatever they call them, with the diesel. They're all B700s and B750s. When I worked there, Fords with the 361 FT, which is the same as the FE. Well, this is different. This is a house where that uh, guy had his uh, cars. So, all those cars over at the storage yard. Yeah, take a look at that sign. Huge hoarder sale. 12 to 3 p.m. Saturday, Sunday. Help save 273 Chandler, Romeo, Michigan. Go fund me. Sneak peek inside. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's definitely a hoarder in the first order. That house is in really tough shape now. What a shame. Yeah. All this yard and those barns, and I think the garages are still full, but you you couldn't get a car in the driveway that in the backyard goes I don't know if you can see way down in there there's the this is the Romeo Junior High School or middle school where I went to junior high and that goes down to the track and the field way back there and that 
so that's a really big deep lot and that was just full completely full of cars and uh so yeah i might have to come up here for that i'll have it's it might be worthwhile because i mean if you're into british cars definitely worthwhile but um yeah crazy all right let me uh i'll go up here and turn around we'll come back and get a view from the other one that's the problem with hoarders is they don't take care of stuff because they have too much stuff to take care of and everything just goes to heck and uh you know, it's a shame that was such a neat home. It's a, it looks like it's got a good, well, no, I can see the top peak of the roof. It's, it needs a roof. It's probably got water damage inside. Wow. Yeah, they cleaned the, the yard out hardcore. So maybe that's why there's more cars over at the storage yard. He's trying to keep them from disappearing from his uh, order sale. This says, enter at your own risk. Seriously, bring a flashlight. So today is December 23rd, so that must be um, the sneak peek for 10 bucks. And uh, but that must be this weekend between Christmas and New Year's, I'm assuming, because this is the 23rd of December right now, 2020. So if you're watching this in the future, that probably won't be uh, happening there. Now you can see a little bit more of the yard. I mean, there was gas. This place was super, super nice. You know, previous to him to moving into it, it was a mental institution, and previous to that, it was a estate. But yeah, he just really, wow, what a shame! What a shame! All those cars, a home, everything being destroyed just because, you know, you got to have everything. We're on uh, Chandler Street, and this is. Uh, 32 mile road or St. Clair Highway downtown Romeo, Michigan. So if you're interested in coming up here this weekend, uh, go through that hoarder house. I guarantee if you need something for a Rolls or a Austin or a MG or something, he's got it. I'm surprised because he wouldn't sell anything. He, I, I know the guy. He's, he's older than me. Maybe he passed away. I don't know, but yeah, I bet you a hundred bucks he had to pass away because he would not sell a thing. He only bought stuff and and packed it. Yeah, I've been in his place before. I've I've actually helped him. He had a Lincoln Town Car limousine that I did some work on for him mechanically to get it running. It wouldn't run, but yeah, that's crazy. All right, we're going up. Uh, we're going north on. 32 mile road right now and we're gonna head back home and I'm gonna take the scenic route so you know it's during a lockdown pandemic and you know not, never getting out of my house this, this is a nice outing so took the truck to give it a run because it hasn't been started in a few weeks that's uh, the Romeo High School so if any of my younger viewers are Kid Rock fans that's where he went to high school. <laughs> I know his mom quite well. So anyway, all right, let's uh let's get rolling here. Just gonna take a ride around Stony Creek Metro Park. Yeah I guess I'm not the only one. Usually there's no cars in line for the toll booth you just go right through but my dad was uh he was in charge of the metro parks so basically he was chief of interpretive services so anything that went on in the metro parks was went through him right down to the layout of buildings where they were the architecture of the buildings the layout of the trailers the trails i mean you know the nature trails and stuff and pretty much all a lot to do with the how the park systems worked he was it's a five county southeast michigan park system and he was in charge of all the parks in the system so yeah that's what my dad did for a living so we'll take a quick ride around here this is stony creek metro park stony creek lake the road is about 10 miles around to get around the lakes going out here sledding but there are people out here taking playing uh, the frisbee golf and uh just 
just take a little ride around. We're coming up to one of the dams. Stony Creek is a man-made lake, so they're dammed up the Stony Creek. The actually the 27 mile road bridge, that's the upper lake or middle lake, that's the lower lake. But the 27 mile road bridge was still under the it's submerged underwater. They flooded it where the road went through. So you can dive off your boat. It's at the far end of the lake over there. You can dive off your boat down to the bridge for 27 mile road that submerged yeah it's this is where the nature center is and maybe we'll just go for a drive in here too i think when we have a memorial service for my dad this after pa the pandemic this is where we're gonna have it i already talked to him at the administrative office about it and they said they would help me out with it too so anyway let's just go in here and have a look at the nature center this is stony creek right well you can't see it from that direction but you can from from there i believe but anyway that was the creek that goes to feed the, the lake where the dams are and stuff one of the creeks it's part of it's a huron clinton metro parks because the metro parks are all on the huron or clinton rivers and this is a branch of the clinton river that this park is on. Yeah, I haven't seen the Nature Center parking lot this full in a long time either. I guess with this pandemic and being Christmas, you know, and whatnot, people just want to get out of their house. Well, that's essentially, I had things I had to take care of up this way today, so that's why I'm up this way, but yeah, I figured why not just get out of the house for a little bit and right around but this is the parking lot the nature center is down there and uh, it's a new building there the old building that was closer to the power line over there but yeah it was an old house but that's the new nature center i'm not going to walk down there now i just don't want to be around people if i don't need to be but um yeah so that's where my dad got his start was the supervisor of the stony creek nature center I grew up virtually there with my brother and Dave and, and another Dave and all my friends that my dad used to bring us to work in our summer vacations and turn us loose in the park. We could run all over the park. I mean, it's just thousands and thousands of acres to, that we could play on and do things on. So it was, it was a nice childhood coming out here, you know, and our mom's in the neighborhood were thrilled oh we're getting rid of the kids for the day they're going out to the park with with tom <laughs> and we loved coming to work with him we all loved it when he asked if we wanted to come to work with him for the day we all jumped at it all our moms would pack us lunches and off we would go we'd pile in my dad's station wagon he had the 66 ford country sedan that we'd all pile in it and he'd bring us out here and we'd spend the day out here The beach is open, so we're going to take a drive in and see if anyone's out swimming on this beautiful 23rd of December, even though the sign says no swimming. Somebody might be. I think they're going to build a new, they're supposed to build a new beach house here. They told, tore the original one, which was really a retro, you know, it was like a, um, almost like a right design it was so cool but anyway they tore it down because it was in pretty bad shape and they're going to be building new uh bath house here and whatnot but this is obviously the parking lot i'll stop when we get up by the beach here's the lake boat rental over there and uh, the beach looks like they put a bathroom here maybe they're not going to build a beach house they just put a bathroom in but it's uh that's all I really need. They used to have a big concession here and everything. So it used to be all right in here where all this is. So maybe that's what's replacing it. The lake by car to drive around the lake, it's 10 miles on the road. So like I say again, it's a man-made lake. That's an island. There's the water comes around here, but the bridge, I don't know, it's probably somewhere out in the lake out there. Um, 
about if you see those people walking if you drove straight out there about halfway out across the lake is where the bridge is that uh, is underwater this is one of the picnic areas they have a lot of a lot of picnic areas, a lot of things for people to do, you know, frisbee golf, they have bungee jumping, they have courses for BMX bikes. It's kind of a neat place. Yeah, if you like to play golf, the Stony Creek Golf Course I would recommend. It's an 18 hole course. Of course, you, you do have to pay an entry fee for the parks. And uh, I got a park sticker there. I don't know what the entry fee is because my dad always gave me park stickers every year, so I've never, never purchased one. So I, you know, he, he always got them for me. But yeah, people out walking. We're coming to the lower dam now, and uh, oh, there's a tad of ice on the lake. Just a tad, not much. picture I got a, my favorite picture was taken right there the 59 Chevy of all the leaves and fall color around it. it was just that's my screen home screen on my laptop we'll take a ride into Eastwood Beach too it says the buildings closed this is one of the old original buildings here like what Bay Point Beach had so we'll go down and check it out I'll show you what they look there's the building this is the concession and bathhouse and whatnot for the Eastwood Beach. This is kind of what the building at Bay Point Beach looked like, but the one at Bay Point was apparently in very bad condition from, I don't know, it, was, it, it had to be torn down, but here we are, and the beach is, beach has not got anybody on it, but there's a lot of people here, that's for sure. Absolutely a lot of people out here for the 23rd of December. Usually if there's snow, this is packed because everyone will come out here sledding all the hills and stuff. So, you know, especially after Christmas when kids get suds for Christmas and they want to come out and play with them. So maybe we'll get some snow. That would be nice. One bit. I kind of like a white Christmas. That looks like it'd be, well, I don't know. It is 50 degrees out, but that does look like it'd be a little... A little cool for a motorcycle today. I was like one of those uh, dual sport bikes, like uh, like my brother and I ride. Well, that's the end of this video. I'm just heading home. We're uh, going down Shelby Road towards 23 Mile Road. But anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed it. Hopefully, if you did, definitely hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, hit that 348 engine icon that pops up there. And thank you for watching my videos.